The LSU Burt S. Turner Department of Construction Management proudly celebrates the 50-year anniversary of its very first class by looking back at where it all started. Jim Hand, Dr. Hand, was the first dean of this fledgling Department of Construction Technology at the time. And Dr. Hand came to me and says, Eddie, I know, know you, we've talked, you, I know you want to go into construction. He says, next year we're looking at starting a construction technology degree in environmental. And he kind of described it to me. I said, man, that sounds awesome. And then that, during that period, some other individuals I got to meet, they were coming to LSU, but apparently had the same idea because it was Art Five and Pepper Rutland and Rick Piku and other people that, you know, I met Frank Jamar and Bob Eisworth. All of these individuals were interested in it as well. So as they started that curriculum, we started in that class. Now at that time, the department was just being kicked from pillar to post. Uh, didn't really have a home, was looking for a home. Uh, I remember the early days, didn't have a curriculum. And then they borrowed professors from the College of Engineering, Electrical, Civil, Mechanical, and some business uh, professors, Management, Accounting, Economics, and put together what we know today as the LSU School of Construction Management. The basic um, management philosophies were, were the same, and, and a lot of the estimating and planning and scheduling courses that we took were, were very good. Uh, they, they prepared us very well for opening uh, job opportunities in our careers. It was a new program, but it was uh, it was highly touted and, and industry was already receiving it well. I don't think they were quite sure what they were going to get when it was all said and done, but it's turned out to be obviously a roaring success. The industry really needed that sophistication. They either had an engineer or they had a craft person trying to learn all the scheduling, cost control, you know, the business law, accounting, all of those things that go into it, you know. So it was a big advantage to us and quite a few of us have been successful uh, entrepreneurs since then because we got in it very early. As the program has changed over the years and they've had different, uh, different leaders here, uh, industry has been brought in uh, originally not only for their funding but for their information and their input. But I would say somewhere in the <clears throat> mid to late 80s is when we really started getting a lot more actively involved uh, between industry and, and, the, and LSU and that was about the time when the, the department moved into the College of Engineering and there was a lot more synergies that came with that and so there was a lot of uh, better support for the department. We got put in a position where we were going to administer fines that was not a preference of ours, but the legislature wanted it. So we were smart enough and, and alert enough that we stated in the law that these fines would be committed to education. This gave us an entree into the construction management uh, department, and uh, that was about 1986. We got to the point where we started really paying attention to the curriculum. It was still environmental, then it moved to business college, and then it moved back to engineering. And I think it was in 97, we got together with several of us principals that really had that background as well. And uh, we formed the Construction Industry Advisory Council. It was d developed for two reasons. One, to raise financial support for the department, and two, to provide industry feedback into the curriculum to make the curriculum more, uh, more reflective of what the needs of the industry were. And we've continued to stay involved in that over the years. And, and that's, I think, why the department has uh, grown as fast as it has and, and has uh, become one of the top programs in the United States today. One of the critical uh, grading criteria in the accreditation, reaccreditation, is what is your industry involvement? And they tell us year in and year out when they come in to look at LSU is, your industry advisory council is one of the most active, best we've seen in the country. Um, I think the only way a university is gonna know what product they can produce for an industry that's hiring that product is by industry involvement. And I think we recognize that on both fronts, from the university standpoint and from the industry standpoint. That's just the reason that the, the, the industry is tied closely with the department because they are interested in that talent. They're interested in having the, a, a phenomenal student coming out and graduating. 
So they work hard with the curriculum, work hard with the faculty, they work closely with everybody to make sure they have that student, when that student graduates, has the knowledge and skill sets to be able to immediately go into the construction field. So they have, to, they have a vested interest. They're looking for a, a high quality student and they're getting them right now. To me, the willingness to be open and listen to what industry wants, since we're buying the product you're producing, is a very, very, very significant change. I don't think we've always had that here. In the early days, it was more of a, we're gonna do it our way, no matter what, and I don't think it, I don't think it worked. It certainly didn't work to the success that it is today. And if you don't believe that, just count the enrollment here. We want people that know what they're doing. Good estimating, project management techniques, understanding that this is a, a business that must be built uh, from the ground floor up, knowing what you're doing, experience counts. The working man is, is to be honored and uh, you, want, you want a day's work for a day's pay, but realize that that man that works with his tools is just as valuable as the chairman of the company. Today, the students we get are so much further advanced from a sophistication standpoint, not even close. Everything is going high tech. And as projects get more and more complex, we have to get more and more technology into the classroom. And thanks to industry, we've been able to purchase the equipment, be able to bring the equipment in. We have a BIM cave that does a 3D virtual environment. We have simulation equipment. Uh, to be able to work with the students can work with those. We have uh, computer systems now that have high power computer systems that can do 3D modeling. They can see the project before it's ever built. The technology in this department is cutting edge it, and this all goes to the need. The, the school has been very responsive but the industry and here again I'm going to wear that word out. The industry steps up to the plate. I mean that it, it's just new and new and improved whether it's equipment, you know, whether it's hardware, software, whatever, they, you ask and we'll find some way to deliver because ultimately it's our product. Students want to come to a place where they perceive they're gonna get a quality education. When they come and do a, a walkthrough and they see what, what LSU has to offer, not just in the, in the classroom, but in every other aspect of their, of their overall college educational program, I think the technology piece is, is a big part, especially in the fields of construction and engineering, which is, you know, where, where we sit today, and, and that's the technology there is moving so fast that if you're not getting it in college, you're, you're behind the eight ball when you, when you graduate. With the industry support, we've been able to obtain four federal centers. We've been able to change the curriculum drastically where it can have four different paths, residential, commercial, highway, and industrial. We've been able to change the student population from 189 to over 1,000 students. They've also helped us with our master's program, our bachelor's program, and now they're helping us with our online, LSU online programs. You can actually go online and get a degree online. You can live in, in Delaware and actually get a CM degree from LSU. That just blows my mind, but that's where we are today, and that's what higher ed is looking at today. And I'm real proud that the LSU Department of Construction is one of the first ones on campus to institute an online degree program. We now know what scalability is. It's taking a course, developing it for 50 students, making sure that we can actually provide for 5,000 students. That is a massive undertaking, looking at the numbers that are going to be presented to us. It's exciting and it's scary, but it is truly, truly the wave of, of, of how education is going. We've spent a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money, and a lot of education um, perfecting these courses. So we talk about what is the next five years going to look like? What is the next 10 years going to look like? We took a look back at what 50 years ago looked like and we are reinventing ourselves. We have beautiful things on the horizon for the university, for the college, for our department. Are we sitting on the cusp of uh, possibly 160 billion, that's with a B, billion dollars worth of industrial work? Uh, we will address infrastructure at some point in time. 
Uh, if you look at just what Baton Rouge and New Orleans is going to be doing on the public sector, they both have a billion dollars worth of work in their in, in, in respected areas to do on infrastructure. We need these students, we need these construction professionals coming out of LSU uh, to enter into this industry. As long as we have a quality faculty, and as long as the product, the output, the graduate uh, is accepted as being one of the top construction managers that can come out of industry, out of school, they'll be fine. That's what I'm most excited about is that the university is finally listening to the people that are willing to support it. When they ask you to write a check and they ask you for your input to help make it be the best for everybody, you probably will do that. It's very important that industry and the education and the university continue to work together. As long as they do that, we're going to be successful. We are the recipients of this product. What's created here comes to us, and it has been a, a wonderful relationship with LSU. We get high quality graduates. Again, I'm speaking for industry because that's what I represent as industry. And, and we're really, really pleased with the end product. To get to this point over 50 years, you've got to realize the shoulders on whom everybody here stands. And I'm talking about the Jim Hands and the Aguilars and the Covingtons and the Jerezes and even Cam Ovasagi, the DOTD secretary who took a stint heading this thing up here. They all were on a trial and error basis. This was kind of a, a new thing as it went down the line. But because LSU at the highest levels didn't get it, but these people did. And it kept pushing and pushing and pushing until finally the jewel was polished and we are where we are today. But don't ever forget that these people got us there and that's very important for all of these 1972 graduates and the rest of them to remember. It, it didn't come easy and it must be preserved and protected and cherished.